happy Thursday. Today we are going to talk about how to use pick scan silhouette, uh, the silhouette pick scan mat with the, um, I'm specifically going to use the Cameo 4, but the same process can be used for the other machines as well. So there are two, actually three different types of pick scan mats. Um, there's one that is a 12 inch size for the 12 inch machine. So you could use it in the Cameo 2, the 1, 2, 3, 4, and the plus and pro as well. Then there's also the um, a portrait size for the smaller portrait machine and there's also one for the curio. So how do you use PicScan? What do you even do with this thing? Can you cut on it? There's so many questions about PicScan. So, and there's multiple different ways to use it. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can use PicScan to create perfectly sized templates for odd size objects. Now, there are other ways that you can use it as well, but once you start using it, you're going to see, oh, now I get it. You're going to have that aha moment. Okay, so here's the thing. What is PicScan? PicScan is um, this cutting mat right here. Now, I'm holding this on here because it's very important that once you put your object on here and take a picture, you don't move it. Okay. All right. So what PicScan does, and I'm just going to call it a day and hold it. So PicScan has the registration marks on the mat, just like it, you would if you did a print and cut. Okay. So PicScan is essentially the ability to cut pre-printed materials. So that can be a template that you want to create. That could be something like taking Christmas cards or a birthday card and you want to cut a portion out of it, that could be putting it on the mat and cutting just that one specific portion. That could be putting um, a piece of vinyl on your pick scan mat so that you can cut out one of these flowers. That could be putting a sheet of paper that came like this and getting it to cut the exact rectangle out, okay? So that's what pick scan has the ability to do. You, it keeps your object in the exact size and dimension and ratio in the physical object as when it's imported into Silhouette Studio. So here's how you're gonna do this. I'm gonna, again, give you one way to use this. Once you start using it and get over the scaredy cat factor, you're gonna be like, oh, now I get it, okay? All right, so you're gonna take your object. I just have this blank. This is actually a sublimation blank. You can see it's like a Christmas ornament. You could use it for a bag tag, luggage tag, um, backpack, whatever. So you're going to take the object. It's best if it's flat, obviously. You're going to place it directly on your cutting mat, on the pick scan cutting mat. Okay, whoops, I got this one upside down. Hold on. Not that it really matters. Okay, so you're going to take it and you're going to place it directly on the mat. It needs to fit inside that black rectangular border, okay? Then you are going to take your phone and you're going to take a picture from above or you're gonna put it on the wall, this on the wall, and take a picture straight on. The reason for this is you need to avoid all shadows. So right now, if I take a picture, I have a shadow of my hands on here. I would kill the overhead lights, okay? So you're gonna take your picture. The entire mat needs to be in the picture, okay? Don't cut anything off. I'm using my phone for this Facebook Live, which is why I can't actually do this. So I already took the picture. So you're gonna take a picture. The entire thing is gonna be in there. Then you're going to go to Silhouette Studio. The pick scan tool is on the top right toolbar, is on the toolbar on the right side. It's the second one down, right after page setup. You're just going to click that pick scan um, tool and click import pick scan. And what's going to happen is the entire object, you can kind of see it here, the entire object with the mat is going to come in. Okay, now what? Now what you need to do is you are need to either trace or redraw this shape. In this case, I needed to trace this shape. Now it's white, so it's a little bit difficult. But what this is going to do is if you can trace it, or in this case, you could you know use a circle and weld it with a square and create the same shape. What it's going to do is it's going to create a cut line in the exact same shape as my item. Okay? So in this way that we're using PicScan, all we're doing is doing it so that we get this, this into Silhouette Studio in the right size. We're not actually going to cut on this mat, although you can. That's a whole different tutorial. Okay, once it's in Silhouette Studio, again, you trace it, you create your cut line, okay? Then you can take that design, the cut line, which is what I did, and put it in another work area. Let me see here 
get it so you guys can see, okay? And you're going to, let me zoom in so you can see. So I have created my cut line. I know it's difficult to see, but my cut line is there. And now I'm going to cut it on a piece of vinyl. Now, because I imported the shape, traced it, it's going to be the exact same size as my blank, okay? All right. I apologize, I can't do all of this on camera. Again, like I've said many times, it's very difficult to do in, portion, in studio stuff live when I'm also doing a live demo. So if you want that full, like start to finish, like every single step, you might wanna look at Silhouette You because that's, we edit the videos that way so, and they're not live so that I can do every step. Okay, so now I have my vinyl on my mat and I'm just going to cut the shape. Now in this case, I, multiple, I duplicated it um, so that I could have multiple copies um, so that I can do a front and a back. Okay, why isn't my Bluetooth connected? Oops, okay. So now I'm going to send this to cut. I'm, I'm actually cutting three copies just, and you'll see why in a second. Sinking. Okay, so it's ready and now I'm going to send it to cut on here. Okay, now I'm gonna come around so you can see a little bit closer. I went one step further. Here's my shape, obviously. And then in this one, I actually put Olivia's name so that that part will also cut out. But because I know the exact size and shape of my template, I know that this will fit exactly. Now, once it's cut, you'll be able to see how to apply it. Okay, that's the, actually the hardest part, right? Okay, so I'm gonna make this into this. See how it fits perfectly? Okay. I always do a little practice round before. It never guarantees that it's gonna work <laughs> live, but. Okay, so now our shape has cut. All right, move this to the side so I have some room, okay, and we can begin the process of placing our shapes. So I'm just gonna cut, separate these a little bit so it's easier for me. Okay, you'll see the shape here in a minute. Okay, so I have my two shapes. Where's my, oh, it's right here. Okay, now I need my weeding tool and I have my scraper. Okay, so we will weed away this excess Okay, and I even traced the circle so that I would know where that circle in the top for the string or the holder is supposed to go, all right? And then this one is the one that I play, I just typed out some text in the same work area, okay? And this way I um, know that my shape, my text is going to um, fit right on my template because I have placed it that way in Silhouette Studio. Okay. This is, all right. I'm just weeding out Olivia's name here. Why it's not going to Okay, let's see. Okay. And I gotta get those dots out of there. And okay, so we have a front and a back now. Okay. So I have these and now I'm gonna place them onto, they look like they're different sizes. I must be holding them different. They're the same. Um, and now I'm gonna place them on here. Now I actually, I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit so you can see. I'm actually not even going to use transfer tape, okay? So wish me luck. What you wanna do, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna fold down the top. Don't do it on your cutting mat, it'll get stuck. I'm only going to fold down the top of this so that a little portion is exposed. See that, can you see the back there? Okay, now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna place it directly over top. I have my, hopefully you can see, 
I have my actual template here and I'm going to place it on there. The little tab part that's sticking out is what is going to hold it in place, okay? And then I'm just going to, I'm, I like to do this from the side so I can kind of see what's happening here. I actually need to, and this is again why you need to, to just start from the very top. Because if you mess up, you can pull that little part off. If you do the whole thing all at once, it's much harder. I'm gonna put it on my mat so it's easier. Okay, so we'll do this. Okay, and then from the side, this is still not straight. This is what, this is, I told you, this is the hardest part. Okay. All right, so we'll then pull from the side. I'm going to use my scraper, push that down. Okay, so this side is now done, okay? Now we can put the other side on. It's hard to see because it's patterned. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side, same exact thing. This one is the one that has Olivia's name cut out. And I'm going to, again, I'm gonna keep it on my mat so it holds it all still for me. I'm using the little circle at the top to tell exactly where it is. Okay, oops. I'm gonna pull it from the side so you guys can see as well. Oh no, I can't do it that way. Oh shoot, I forgot. The sides are not connected. Ah! All right, hold on a second here. Oh gosh. We might need to ab abort mission on this here. Oh, I because I forgot that I did. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> hold on. We can save it. We'll be able to save it. Okay, can you see how I saved it? So then we're gonna, there we go. Okay, so I got part of her name in there and now I need to, I am actually gonna use transfer tape. Get a little piece of it, I have it down here. And we will, I'm just gonna show you where I am. Okay. So here, I still, I just need to put the middles in there. Okay. Let me grab that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even get this transfer tape, the backing off of here. Okay. All right, so we will pull off the pieces that we need. These are all in the same position, okay? I actually don't need this one little piece at the end here. All right, so see how I have them all? Those are the little counters. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna just place those in here. It's the middle of the L, the middle of the A. Oh man, and now it's pulling the whole thing back up. Well, this, this was a great idea that I had with these extras. I was like, oh, I'll make it extra fancy and show them how to personalize it, yeah. Oh, we're getting there. Just hang with me. You'll see. Okay, all right, there, woo, we saved it, okay. So you could see, see, it came out really cute. Wouldn't this be cute to put on like a backpack or something like that? So that is how you are going to use the pigskin mat to make your template, you know, to make vinyl shapes. You could use this for sublimation. You could use it for HTV pigskin, I mean, and make it so that it perfectly fits on the little shapes that you have, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. I'll go through and check any questions and answer about pigskin, and I'll see you soon.